So what happens if I now want to create an array, but I don't know the values yet? I do know how big I want to make it, but I don't know the values. Let's stay with the idea of, uh, say for example, uh, days of the week, because I, I can. Now, instead of saying the curly brace and adding in my days, I actually throw in a new keyword. I throw in a new $5 Java keyword, new. Now, what new does is because we're actually dealing with something known as a complex data type. We've been only working with primitive data types as of late. Uh, but this new, this actually kind of creates a little funkiness to it because obviously we're saying this thing, this array, this collection is going to have some values in it. I just don't know what they are right now. And so I then come in and I say what the data type is, but then I add in those square brackets again, and this time I actually put a number inside here. Now what this number is going to indicate is the length of this new array that I'm creating. So how do I access any of the elements? How do I start to populate my array? Again, I actually am going to be using that square bracket again. The first thing I need to do is I specify by using my variable name. I said that I was going to name this array variable name. I was going to name this variable array days. Now, if I want to access any particular element inside that array, I use the square brackets and I put its index inside it. So say for example, days zero. Right now that's empty, but I can fill that up now with Sunday. And I can go through and I can continue to do that with each one of these until I get to days 6 equals Saturday. Now I want to throw a little question at you. What's going to happen if I do days at 7? Alright, well Hopefully, you maybe take a second, pause the video, maybe put it in there and see what happens. What will happen is that this is going to error. Why? Because we only said that we were going to have a length of 7. Length of 7 means that I start counting at 0. Again, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, we count those numbers, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a little bit of a, confusing, a confusion, but I have 7 elements with an index of 0 to 6.